Hello everyone, welcome back. It's time for another of my Akagi Asama reactions. This time we are doing Season 2, Episode 9. And that is Yu Ishigami Closes His Eyes, Part 2. Part 2, was there a Part 1? I don't remember one recently. Uh, anyway. Yu Ishigami Closes His Eyes, Part 2. Kaguya Wants to Touch, and Kaguya Doesn't Say No. I wonder what it's like coming up with all of these skit titles. Hmm. So the show has not missed this season. To be fair, I'd say it hasn't really missed at all. But this season in particular has been just continuous, solid episodes. And I've been really liking it. Last episode, we got to see a bit more interaction among the group, with um just some gaming between the guys, Miko, seeing how Miko interacts with the group, the initial way that she's being, you know, very strict, as you might have expected, but the way she's, I guess, going to have to try to figure out how to integrate properly. She got advice both from Ishigami and Chika about about this about being a bit more sensitive to other people rather than just, you know, sternly putting the rules down. And even though they both basically said the same thing, you can tell her... You can tell the feelings that she has between each of them, where, despite them saying the same thing, she basically straight out ignored Ishigami, but just totally lapped up everything that Chika was saying. Having been playing Xenoblade Chronicles recently, I'm imagining it as like a affinity chart between the two, where you have the unhappy face <laughs> linking her and um, Ishigami, and just pure adoration linking her and Chika on the other side. But yeah, nevertheless, Chika managed to use her powers to mildly corrupt her. <laughs> um, that sounds bad, but in a way that it's kind of getting her to chill out a bit, so hopefully that will help. Um, hopefully we can see more Hopefully we can start seeing some improved interactions between her and Ishigami. Maybe not right away. I guess their antagonistic relationship is kind of funny at the moment, but, you know, I would still like to see the whole group sort of improve over time. So, yeah, over time I'm expecting um, Miko to melt a bit, much in the same way that uh, Kaguya did. But, yeah, in the meantime it'll be fun to see how things go. We also had the... Shiragane and Shinomiya stuck in the shed, or warehouse, storage room thing, um, which ended up with a resolution of Miko walking in on them, which was a resolution that I had not expected. Somehow the show had managed to make me forget what show I was watching, and I got so invested in the moment that I <laughs> did not even consider Miko walking in, despite the fact that she'd done that like three times in the previous episode yeah it was great i loved it that's comedy hitting real well again and um yeah the last part with kaguya going to a hospital because she'd her feelings are obviously so overpowering and she doesn't know how to handle this first love of hers that uh she thought she was actually dying <laughs> from something yeah, it is it is getting interesting seeing how this happens. It feels like it's getting much more difficult for her to keep denying this part of herself, so I'm looking forward to seeing where that goes. Meanwhile, that's enough of talking about episode eight. I think it's time that we move on to episode nine. So just a reminder again that these are full length timer based reactions, which means that you'll need your own copy of the show to watch along with me. I'll put a timer just above my obscured version of the video, and I'll do a countdown leading into it, so that we can both watch along and enjoy it together. It looks like this one starts with some intro section for about 15 seconds before the OP from a black screen. Alright, and I will be going in 3, 2, 1, now.
No, you can't quit. It's good. I had been hoping to see more of um what's her name? Kobachi. Osoragi. Since she wasn't going to join the um the student council herself. I had anticipated we'd see more of her still just as a as like we do for the other side characters, but there was a couple of episodes without us, so I thought, oh, maybe she isn't going to be doing too much. I can't find the first OP, the first season's OP, on Spotify, and that bothers me. I'm happy to have this one, but I don't know why the first one isn't on Spotify. It's corrupt. Of a short high school girl with high ideals. I like that. Student Council Wars. Is this what she actually imagined? She imagined she would be the, the soft... My God, what a shot. <laughs> I was thinking, he wasn't even in there. Yes, poor Ishigami. Charlie Brown style.
Oh no, she just changes it into a... And just replaced with an entirely different... <laughs> She's like, wait, what? Really does have some like hero fantasies, huh? You defeated yourself. I wish I knew what that text that just flew past said. It looked very strange for her to be gesturing like that in her maid. <laughs> Pressing your left cheek with your right hand.
Which way does she face during the opening? It's been a while since I thought you were a genius. I suppose it's like her brain's been switched off for a while. I like the way they make the whole face change just instantly. Boom, the eyes do. She'll end up in the hospital if the maid hates ten. Isn't he holding that hand? Black belt and Aikido and what was it? Judo. She's broken. Is that what Owen done is? Becoming a normie. This sounds like a nightmare.
absolutely crazy. Oh, good on you, you for trying this anyway. You crazy, huh? This could awaken something inside me. No. This time we gotta this time we gotta lead up. <laughs> that, that was even better. That was even better. I love how she's just like, nope. <laughs> My drag debut. Oof. Oh, it continues. Nice. Oh, that was good. 
Did I misread the skits? Yushigami closes his eyes part two. Kagi wants to... What order were these in then? Maybe these are just wrong? Editing note. Turns out their titles are correct. I just didn't understand them when I was watching. It's actually more interesting now that I've found out where Ishigami Closes His Eyes Part 1 is from. It's when he was being helped to study by Shinomiya. Because first we had... Um, Miko... Talking with... Um, Kobachi? Kobachi Osaragi? Um, who managed to convince her to try to to try to look at the um wait yeah that is the end so her friend managed to convince her to think about the situations again to try to not let her imagination sort of run away with her but then all that did was to come up with a completely different, incorrect I uh, concept of what happened in each of those cases. Turning Kaguya into... Well, I mean, you know, Kaguya's doing a lot of scheming, but not, <laughs> not in the way that she was imagining. Um, but that was also very cute for her to finally confront Kaguya with what she thought was the truth and um, then be completely disarmed by how innocent um, Kagi's actual reaction was, or how pure Kagi's reaction was when being confronted like that. So that was pretty cool. I like that. That was the first one. And then second, we had something. And then next we had, that's right, Kagi was avoiding the president, so to try to get her feelings under control, she developed a new, like, ritual for herself, or, you know, a thing, a, a go-to trick to try to recenter herself, which apparently is the right hand on the... That's what I was going to check, wasn't it? It was the right hand on the left cheek. And that's from the opening. I remember commenting about it before. I hadn't thought of this specifically, but I'd thought of, I'd questioned before whether she was saying something which made him shiver. But it looks like maybe the point of that in the opening was actually. Yeah, I didn't realize it. Before I thought she was actually doing this, like, to, like, cover her mouth. Um, but no, she's actually just laying it on her cheek. So she's using that calming routine, which just got interested, introduced to this episode. That's cool. <clears throat> um, also, the great, like, fighting game, Street Fighter-esque. They do so many different things. I've said it before, so many different styles and so many things. I'm still waiting to see their faces on vehicles again. I don't feel like that one's played out, and there's a whole different, whole lot more different things that they could be. <laughs> but um, I do love all of the different ways that they just put them into different animation styles or into different sort of framing things uh, as they describe each different situation. So that was good. And uh, the last part was Ishigami, which was, um, yeah, it's real cool to see more of his development. Um, it feels like going in the cheer team isn't, uh, might not be his thing, but huge, you know, huge, huge respect for him, but just trying it. It's It's always worth going into, you know, out of your comfort zone, and it might not be some place that he's ever, you know, comfortable in. That seems like a 
situation where I would be trying. It wouldn't be something that would be natural. I'd have to be always trying to put on a particular like um, facade <laughs> to exist. But, you know, again, I think it could be a very beneficial thing to do to do that, to put yourself in that situation. And we had the really great reminder of how his and Chinamir's uh, relationship has changed as well, from him being just absolutely terrified of her to this relationship which improved during when she helped him study, and that has just sort of been steadily improving over time. Um, so I like that. I like that he's having, he's got friends. I mean, think about it the other way. It's nice that Shunamiya has friends, for that matter. Um, yeah. The student council is a good thing for all of them involved, I think. And it looks like this is part of a another extended arc, or at least a two-part sort of deal. So, so that's exciting. Getting close to the end now, I think we're... So this was episode 9, 11, 12, so we've only got three left. That makes me kind of sad. I almost managed to go to roll straight in. Um, from season 1 to 2, but now I'm going to have to have a break. Anyway. No point worrying about that. I am hoping that we do get a season three, <laughs> by the way. Anyway, in the meantime, I'm going to have to find other things to react to. I don't know whether you've got any ideas of what might suit this, since my reactions tend to be fairly internal. Um, this has made me realize that humor will at least get me to react fairly unselfconsciously. If it's a wow moment, chances the problem is if it's wow, then usually in my head I'm just like, wow, that's amazing. Outside I'm just... So, you know, some of those might not be the greatest for me. And if there's a lot of thinking, then usually it all goes back in here because um, I don't have enough brain available to both think and verbalize what I'm thinking at the same time. Anyway, that's off the topic. This was great. We didn't see... We didn't really see any Chica this um, episode, did we? She was there, like, as a background in other people's things. She was there in um, Miko's imagination. She was there when... Ishigami was thinking of people that he could borrow from, but again, that wasn't like really her being there. That's okay. Not everyone needs to be in every episode. That was great. We've got three more episodes, and I'm sure they're going to be great. But for now, I think I'll wrap this one up. So, did you enjoy the episode? And, uh, hey, do you know whether there's going to be a season three? If so, please tell me in the comments. Otherwise, take care of yourselves, and I will see you next time.